Hey guys, we're on a roll today. I'm going to try and get this Flappy Bird thing done today so that we don't drag this on forever. So, so far you would have programmed as much as um, getting the pipes to scroll to the left and they all have random heights. And um, just one thing I want to change is I want to change this number where it's generating the random number for the top position of the pipes I want to change it from 300 to 290 okay because the reason for that is because if I do get um, a random number that is 300 I actually won't be able to see the pipe because it's so far down that um, that actually doesn't appear on the screen okay so now that we fixed that little error if you guys remember the real Flappy Birds game what happens is not only does it have a pipe coming from below the floor it also has another pipe coming from the top of the win uh, the top of the window coming down and it only leaves a little space for your little bird to fly through so we want to program these pipes that are coming from the top and I'm gonna create an array called top pipes okay so I have an array for pipe and I'm gonna create an array for top pipe with a capital P okay and then I'm gonna obviously generate the top pipes so other than this create pipes function I create another function called create top pipes okay so I now have two methods two functions one says create pipes the other says create top pipes and obviously rather than um, pipe bracket I in the end I'm gonna put top pipe bracket I in the end so top pipe okay so this creates the pipe that's coming from the top now what's the difference in the coding for the position well basically rather than creating a <clears throat> a random top position for the pipe I'll delete the code for that and I will just get whatever the coordinates whatever the top position for the bottom pipe is and I will minus it by let's say 400 okay just see what happens when I run the code and then we can fix it so basically I want to um, create the top pipe at the beginning of the program so under create pipes I'm gonna put create top pipes and then let's run the program and see what happens and um, something is not working so let's go down to where it says the top position of my pipe and you can see it's highlighted here and basically because I need dot top okay because it's whatever the top position of the pipe is we're gonna minus it by 400 and you can see here that it's created the top pipe but it's not moving it but the gap is a bit small anyway so we're gonna change this number to minus let's say 450 let's see how big the gap is and now the gap is a bit big so let's change it to minus 440 okay now I want it to move to the left at the same time as my pipes so where it's got pipe I dot left minus equal to inside my timer tick function I'm going to do the same thing to my top pipe top pipe I dot left minus equal to and then it should come to the left with my bottom pipe and uh, the gap is pretty small 
so it makes it a little bit harder okay now um, we also want it to regenerate so the pipes once it hits the left hand side go back to the right hand side so pretty much have to copy this code here and change it to top pipe again so top pipe and then here instead of regenerating the top position I'm going to copy the code for setting the top pipe to be whatever the pipe the bottom pipes top corn is and assigning it to the top pipes coordinates so this will make sure that the top pipes coordinate matches whatever the bottom pipes coordinate is minus 440 so if you run this You can see that every time the new pipes are generated the top pipe leaves this gap between the two and it's always 440 now you can already see there's some numbers repeating itself the 440 and so on so what I want to do is at the beginning of the code I want to create a variable that is um, determines the gap between the pipes so I'm gonna put gap between pipes as an integer okay and basically I'm going to make it 440 for now um, we can change this stuff later but basically I want to replace wherever it's got 440 with that variable gap between pipes and gap between pipes here okay so the reason why I want to do that is because if we ever feel like the game is too hard so if we feel like yep this is a bit hard and I want to change it I can just change it up the top here I can change it to if I want to make it bigger I can change it to 460 and uh, that'll give us a bit more room to jump through and then if I feel like the gap is too big and I want to change it back I can just change it at the top to 440 again and then the gaps will be a bit smaller okay just wanna check it's working yep Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.